Do you want to say hi? Hi, people. Why are you so camera shy? You're always, you're usually such a love junkie. There we go. There's your pretty face. Hey, nerds. It's Teary. Welcome back to my show. So, <laughs> yes, that is, that is my, my puppy saying hello. Stop licking the mic. I don't know what that sounds like. I'm interested to find out. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video because I can't seem to spend more than no time away from this dog and he'll get restless in my lap and then need to pee which he loves peeing on carpets yes you do you love peeing on carpets he doesn't like peeing on grass very much he'll do it you know and uh he gets a treat if he does but then he comes inside and pees too so yeah I'm potty training him, and let's just say I'm preoccupied. So some of you will ask that this dog is not named yet. We are between a few names. We're between Shadow, Jax, and Logan. Like after Wolverine, Logan, which, yeah. So cast your votes, I guess. I'm having a hard time deciding. And he is three parts Husky, one part German Shepherd. And he's freaking adorable, but he is extremely needy and squirmy at the moment. So today's video is going to be short. I'm gonna talk about a couple of changes coming in patch 6.1 and 2. And uh, that's really it, cause I'm, I've got my hands full. I do have a um, bit of personal news that I would like to tell you guys about besides the adopting of the new wonderful, beautiful puppy. I am going to use a clip, but first I must give you a spoiler. It's me. I feel like I have a lot to talk about. It's like, sorry about no coffee, but we've got a lot to talk about, I think. And then Jesse responded with preggers confirmed, which made me laugh because one of the things that I wanted to tell you guys was not that I'm pregnant, but that someone in my life is pregnant. Someone in my life is pregnant. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love you, cousin. Thanks for the announcement footage. So I didn't quite want to bring it up yet until I went to the doctor once and stuff, and I did, and everything's cool, and we're, we're doing great. So now you know. Now you know. Yay, can I have two little ones? Hopefully this one will be on good behavior by the time that the, the fleshy, less furry one comes. And for those of you that care, I'm nine weeks and due August 14th. Right after Dodger's birthday, guys. Wow. So patch 6.1 is now live in the PTR, so you can check it out for yourself. Yes, it is. It is. You're so excited. One of the first things you'll notice is the heirloom tab where all of your existing heirlooms will go automatically and any heirlooms that you get in the future will go into there as well as when you upgrade them, they will change in your tab. The heirlooms when you first get them are from level one to 60 for the experience bonus and the stat scale but you can upgrade them with tokens. See the link in the description to see how heirlooms work now. The previously promised in-game Twitter UI has been added to patch 6.1 in the PTR. In the interface social tab, there is an option to select the Twitter option and then it opens a black window that does nothing. So apparently that is in progress and hopefully we will see it actually functioning in the PTR soon, but it's kind of proof that they actually meant it. Tweeting in game, plus images. Ha huh, honey, ha, huh. Logan or Shadow or Jax, whoever you are. Void Talon of the Dark Star is a new mount coming to us in 6.1. I don't know how to get him yet. If I remember, I'll add, a, add an annotation or whatever link on him telling you how to get this mount. It's a purple version of the bird that you can get in Firelands. Flame Talon of Elysrazor. Fandral's Seed Patch is a toy that we will be able to somehow obtain, I assume in patch 6.1. It allows you to harness the essence of fire granted to the Druids of the Flame. It functions pretty much the same as the Burning Seed, which turns your 
Druid Kitty form into an awesome flamey kitty. Again, not really sure how we'll be obtaining this item, if it will be off of a rare or quest or garrison missions. Maybe it's a drop off of a boss. That brings me to another thing. Also, we were informed by Blizzard Dev via Twitter that Blackrock Foundry release is not dependent upon the release of patch 6.1. In fact, we have a release schedule for Blackrock Foundry. February 3rd, normal and heroic modes will become available, as well as Rukmar, the world boss in Spires of Arak. February 10th, a mythic Blackrock Foundry will become available. February 17th for Blackrock Foundry Wing 1. February 24th for Wing 2. March 10th for Wing 3. And March 24th for Wing 4. The level requirement to queue up for Blackrock Foundry looking for raid is 635. The gear item level is 650, except for the sets, which are 655. The Blackrock Foundry normal mode gear is 665 and the heroic gear is 680. The Foundry bosses drop the tokens for tier 17 gear. And when you do the Blackrock Foundry portion of the legendary ring quest, you are rewarded with an item level 710 ring. Cross Realm Mythic High Mall will be available in patch 6.2 release. And the patch 6.1 PTR, you can also check out the new feature in your garrison, the jukebox. Some of the songs are already available. To help out with collecting all of the World of Warcraft toys, oh my goodness, what a feat. But now that you have a whole separate place aside from your bags and bank to keep this stuff, Wowhead has a new updated toy box tracker that will help you find what you don't have and show you what you have. This puppy is like having a new freaking born baby. So yeah potty training is a pain i actually think i might be smelling poop right now even though i took him out six times and he wouldn't go potty for me i spent the better part of an hour on one potty session he still didn't go except a little bit on the carpet and i stopped him and took him outside oh my god such a pain in the butt but i love him and he's sweet and i'll be happy when he's all potty trained so for now, I'm going to go and take them outside again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely leave me a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Check back every Wednesday for news and gaming videos in between. I will be live streaming, I hope, <laughs> depending on the puppy and how dependent uh, he is on Friday night at 7.40 Pacific time at twitch.tv slash tyranny. I will let you know if anything changes as soon as I know of the change. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, I love you all. Bye-bye.